up guys, it's Nigel Games here, and today, we are back for another video, here we're going to be playing some Fortnite, and this is a gameplay, my first ever full victory, like it's kind of embarrassing that this is season 3, but I don't play that much solo, I only have like 200 matches played of Fortnite in total, solos, <laughs> not 200 in total. 200 and solo, so I'm a very aggressive player. Like, I like to go for kills, slammed and tilted. But this time I actually went for the win. And this is what happened. And I go, I just sit up here in my base. I realize that it's top 10, I only have one kill, and that was at flush. I landed at flush. Gameplay was super boring. I was just messing around at the start, like with the C4 trying to bait someone. And here's one, like, I can do this, like, I said to myself I wanted to get a victory so I could get the new umbrella. What do I do? I get a victory. I'm just hiding in here, place a trap. I know that someone saw me. So I'm just waiting in here. I know they saw an RPG, or they will shoot an RPG, I think. Yeah, I just wait in here. Quite a bit. Super boring. So yeah, I'm just gonna. So, yeah, I just hide in here. Then I go, and then <laughs> my friend joins the party, and then I kick him. Or no, I don't kick him. I just mute him, and then. Yeah, well you just joined now, so like, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm recording a video here, Jackson. Like, I see them, I'm trying to peek through there. I'm, I'm trying to like, I'm just testing out the editing feature. I figured out that you can actually quick. I figured out you could actually like speed edit. Like with the full auto edit, like turbo building or whatever. So. So I'm doing that. And I go. And I'm just, just seeing how quickly I can actually edit. Can you see ninja and stuff? Edit. And then about a minute. I see there's an airdrop that will come in. I see that there's gonna be an airdrop that will come in right about there in a couple of seconds. There it is. So I'm just ready to move. And this is super passive, by the way. This is how you win. Fortnite Battle Royale, how to win. You shouldn't play aggressive. Like if you're playing aggressive, you're not gonna win. So you gotta play passive. Hide in the bottom of your base. And just hide in here. Observe the area. Make sure you can see everybody. This is why I did in this gameplay. I made sure I could see everybody and just take notes where they are. Because if you don't know where everybody is in a top three situation, you see he shoots a rocket at me. I know that he thinks that there's someone in here, but now he doesn't. So there we are. I just sit inside of here. I see that airdrop coming in, and this is crucial. So I see. I quickly am gonna make my move. Right now, I'm like, life's about dumb decisions. You always gotta make them. Then I just quickly loop. I forget to pick up the scar, and I take those two shields. Realize that I'm at full. So I just run, get into this gas station, hide in buildings. And like, if you hear someone, don't run out and start panicking. So I can just forget that I'm at full shield, kind of being dumb here. But like, I just hide in here. It's essential to hide in buildings that have half of the storm in. Cause no one's gonna think if 
the storm is in the building, they'll think, oh, the storm's there. No one will be in there. Wrong. I'm in there. And then I see that it's still top seven. I'm like, where are the players? And I think that this guy's trying to troll me. Like, I can see that in place down the trap. And then I think he's just trying to troll me. Like, forcing me out. And then I hear his footsteps. I think he just wants to do something. But I'm not sure, so I'm just playing it super passive. I didn't hear. On to Flesh Factory because Battle Pass Week 4. You have to search chest. And that's when to get hacked. Basically, you gotta go on top of the mountain that's close to Flush. And there's a chest. There's two chests. And everybody takes the other one, so. Two chests is better than one. I see that everybody just died in this little spot right here. And you see that we're down to four people and like a minute ago we were at seven. So I'm like, oh my God, I can do this. My hands are starting to sweat up. Like I actually want to win this. Because my goal for March break was to win. And then I just completely dip when I see the storms coming. Try and run through this building so that no one will see me. And then I go, I check, I see there's a purple thing. And I'm like, what's that? And then I see it's just a crossbow. It's already being loaded. And I see that guy basically, and I'm like, oh crap. I see that guy running out, so I'm thinking, in my mental math, I know where two out of three of the players are. He's going to challenge that guy. And then whoever wins that fight will come out in top three. Except, I see this guy, he doesn't see me. This is the thing about using a stealth outfit. Like, use the Black Knight. Don't, if I had the pink teddy on there, I was screwed. I was literally screwed if I had the teddy on. But no, I had the, um, I forget, the burnout. And then I see, I'm just looting him. Cause like, I had trash loot. So I get the purple shotgun, I get the sniper, and then I see that this guy is getting shot down. So I just wait in here, try and hide out, and if I went for that kill, I was dead, literally. That's how you gotta play it. If you see a guy in a base, and you see there's a guy rushing him, don't try and tag the guy rushing him, because then I would be in a gunfight with the guy in the base. And who's gonna win, me or the guy in the base? Anyway, it's a 1v1. I know the guy knows I'm here. I was going to wait for a clear sniper shot. Then he kind of ruined my plan by knowing that I'm there. So I start just firing back, you know. I see he has an RPG. And then I just get super stressed. Like, because the grenade launcher didn't have enough range to hit him from here. So I'm just in that building. Like I'm supposed to. And then I start shooting, and then I figure out he's in range. He bodies me with that RPG. I'm like, oh my god, oh no, I die. I'm, and I'm dead. And then I see that I hit him with the grenade launcher. So I'm like, fair fight, and I go win this or lose this. You're one tap. And then I see that he starts to build, and then like he's building to push me, and that was his mistake there. He was pushing me when I had the grenade launcher. If he just stood back there, I, I would have died. But I get the victory, and it's just so nice. I just feel so good after getting this. So, oh my god. I'm just like, oh my god. Wait, oh I actually did. Just insane. But that's how you win. That's how you win in Fortnite Battle Royale solos. Do as you can play aggressive because you have a teammate to pick you up. And yeah. And I'm just like, oh, I'm so exciting. And it is, really. Like, for me, that's a milestone. And I see that, of course, I get the new glider. My teammates, they can't carry me good enough, so I have to play solos and win. So I have the paper parcel, and it just looks so cool. Like, I'm probably not going to use it because Dragon Glider and other ones, but like, I'll see you soon. And be sure to like and sub as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.